Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 10 foot soldier tips that are going to help you to get more vanquishes, support other players and ultimately lead your team to victory. Some of the tips in this video revolve around gameplay tactics, others are ability related and some are to do with loadouts. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So Foot Soldier is a character we have seen from the beginning of the Garden Warfare series and has featured in every single game since. In Battle for Neighborville, similar to Pea Shooter, Foot Soldier is your go-to standard assault class on the zombie side and is a character that can be very effective at close, medium and long range, although close to medium range is probably optimum. So let's move on to tip number one. Now I'm actually going to start off with a hidden ability that Foot Soldier possesses. I've actually done a few videos relating to hidden character abilities in Battle for Neighborville, so if you are interested feel free to check those out, I've put the links in the description. Anyway, as we should all know, Foot Soldier has his famous Super Stink Cloud ability, which can damage enemies over time in a small area. However, there is an additional effect this has when coming up against Colonel Korn's Butter Beacon. Now Colonel Korn's Butter Beacon allows him to locate enemies in a certain radius, so this is where Stink Cloud comes in. If you use this ability when Butter Beacon is active and stand inside the Poison Cloud, you become undetectable to the radar effect. This is great to be able to get the jump on Colonel Korn or launch a counter attack with a couple of zombies. As well as cloaking you from Butter Beacon, the Stink Cloud also protects you from any plants that have a lock on or homing effect on their abilities or primary weapons. This includes Rose and Pea Shooter. The tracking does not work when you are inside the cloud. The next two tips are also relating to the Super Stink Cloud ability, which is arguably Foot Soldier's best ability as it has so many uses. So tip two is to remember that this ability can be used as a regular smoke grenade or invisibility cloak. Yes, that's right, Super Stink Bomb acts like an invisibility cloak because plants are unable to see through it, but zombies can. So this ability can be used to provide cover for your team to traverse across the map, or what is a very useful tactic is to place it down, step inside, and then shoot at the enemy as you have perfect cover, as the plants can't see through it, and you will catch most players off guard as they won't know where you are shooting at them from. Another strategy with this ability is to use it when you are at low health and stand inside the cloud to become invisible whilst you wait for your health to regenerate. This works particularly well when defending an objective or when there are a lot of enemies around and it's always funny to watch players have no idea where you are as they can only see the purple smoke. A bonus tip for this ability is to use the stink cloud at the start of a turf takeover game when you are the attacking team. As you should know, when you are the defending team in Turf Takeover, at the start of the match you can run and wait outside the enemy spawn room. Knowing this, if you put a stink cloud on one of the doors just before they open, it will provide your team some cover at the start of the round and prevent you from being spawn killed. So like I said previously, tip number three is also about the Super Stink Cloud ability. And this is how it can be used to counter a specific character. And that character is Citron. So one of the most difficult things you can come up against is when Citron is using his very powerful shield that is a nightmare to break down as it has so much health. But Super Stink Cloud can counter a shielded Citron as Super Stink Cloud can damage him through the shield as it is an AOE ability. Also, if you are a high enough rank, you can combine this with the Sticky Perk, which enables you to stick your Super Stink Cloud to players and surfaces. So now let's move on to tip number four, and we're going to talk about another of Foot Soldier's abilities, which is Rocket Jump. 
So as the name suggests, this ability uses your rocket backpack to launch you into the air. Now this can be great to confuse your enemies if you are fighting one on one, but the primary way in which you should use this ability is to position yourself in vantage points where other plants can't get to. This includes rooftops, vehicles or anything you can find that will give you a height advantage. Try and keep on the lookout for sneaky spots and angles that you can hit your unsuspecting enemies from. But if you struggle to find any good spots, don't worry as I will be doing another video sometime soon, which I will explain and show you some of the best unsuspecting spots for Foot Soldier. Sticking with Rocket Jump, tip number 5 is about using Foot Soldier's abilities together. So this tip can be found on Foot Soldier's description in game, but it's an important one nonetheless. So Foot Soldier's ZPG ability can actually be used whilst in the air. All you need to do is activate Rocket Jump and as soon as you lift into the air, hit the button to use ZPG and you will fire the rocket from above. You can also use Super Stink Cloud before both of these abilities to provide cover and catch enemies off guard as you jump over the cloud and hit them with a rocket in the face. Moving on to the ZPG ability, tip number 6 is about using the ZPG as a sniper. So one of the most interesting things with this ability that although it is a rocket, it actually has ridiculously good accuracy. And this means that you can use it as a long ranged weapon. I have to say it is very satisfying when you can get a vanquish from across the map with this ability. One thing to note is that the rocket's travel time is pretty slow and your enemies can dodge it quite easily if they see it coming. The trick is to fire it from an unsuspecting angle so by the time they see it coming it is already too late. However, when you rank up Foot Soldier, you will eventually unlock the propellant perk, which increases the rocket projectile speed. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Foot Soldier is most effective at short to medium range. So tip number 7 is about close quarters combat and this is just a reminder to not use ADS when dealing with enemies up close, particularly as Foot Soldier is extremely accurate anyway. I actually very rarely aim down the site with Foot Soldier, the only real times I use it is if I'm trying to shoot down a garlic drone or if I'm shooting a plant that is really far away. Now this next tip is relating to the ammo thingamabob perk that you unlock at advanced rank. You only have to level up 10 times so it's not that difficult to get. So this perk as you can guess gives you more ammo. This is a perk I highly recommend you should use as foot soldier as it gives you 11 more shots per clip and only costs 2 perk points. So I worked it out that without this perk you can do a maximum of 270 damage from an entire clip but with the perk you can deal 336 points of damage and these numbers exclude any critical hits you can get so it is more than enough to date down pretty much any plant. So tip number 9 goes back to countering specific plants and this one is about pesky nightcap. So one of nightcap's most powerful abilities is Fung Fu and if you get caught by it it's pretty much an instant vanquish for nightcap. Fortunately foot soldier can use rocket jump in this situation to escape. You can also combine this with super stink cloud to throw in nightcap's direction when you are in the air to do some damage if not vanquish her. Finally, tip number 10 is a tip I mention in all of my previous videos and this tip is all about cooldown times. Understanding the cooldown time of all your abilities is vital for strategy and tactical play. For example, if I know Rocket Jump will be ready in 5 seconds, I know that if I take damage I have an ability that will help me get out of the sticky situation. So with that being said, let's talk about Foot Soldier's cooldown times. So on the hood it does actually show you how much time you have to wait, but I think it's always good to know the total time in your head. 
Super Stink Cloud has a total cooldown of 30 seconds and the cloud lasts for 18 seconds. Rocket Jump has a cooldown of 13 seconds and ZPG has a cooldown of 25 seconds and has about a 2 second delay before the rocket actually fires. Anyway guys that's about it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, let me know what your favourite tip was in the comments below, other than that remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay thanks guys, bye.